Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Jagex just released some new cosmetic overrides for necromancy in the game, and they look absolutely great. There is a really nice dark looking version that only improves on the first necromancer gear look uh, with just better lighting and bloom. Then there is the light version, which is also really cool. Comparing these armor sets to the first necromancer armor, or the tier 90 power armor, they just definitely look much better in my opinion. And if you are able to get a full set, you will end up getting a themed conjure override. As you can see on screen, they do look pretty cool. And honestly, they look so good that I would be tempted to go get them myself. But now for the downside. You can only obtain these overrides through Treasure Hunter, and this promo ends in four days on January 29th. You literally only have four days from January 25th to 29th to obtain enough keys and enough of these tokens to purchase these really cool overrides. Definitely some fear of missing out tactics being used here. Now this has caused some anger amongst the community and for good reason as it seems like MTX is just Jagex's only priority. Now before we dive into that topic, let's first take a quick look at how you can obtain enough keys for these overrides. You will need to continually use treasure hunter keys to either get Raziel's sigils to either buy the armor pieces or the weapons from this new shop interface, or you can get them through a purple reward from Treasure Hunter, but you only get one armor piece or weapon at a time. There have been a few players post just how many keys they needed to get for just one of these two armor sets or armor overrides, and it took this Reddit user 184 keys, which is equivalent to about 12 bonds, or nearly 96 US dollars. This is just to get enough to get one of these cosmetic overrides. That is absolutely ridiculous. There's basically no way to get these cosmetic overrides uh, free. You have to buy keys unless you're either doing quests because you do get two treasure hunter keys per quest completion. But basically that means you need to complete about 90 quests in five days. The fact that you only have five days to obtain these rewards through Treasure Hunter is the more toxic part of this in my opinion. It basically just means that you have to buy keys. There isn't really any way to obtain that amount of keys without buying them in that short span of time. One option players might have if they don't want to buy keys is they can complete those quests. There are also ways to earn keys by completing surveys or playing certain games or apps. Uh, this method is known to be a bit buggy and I have heard stories of people completing offers and not receiving their keys. But for the most part, if you follow the specific rules, you should receive the keys. Uh, some offers can be quite fast, like completing a survey, while others require actually dozens of hours of gameplay for a specific game or app on your phone. On top of this, Jagex changed the way you can get oddments earlier this week, which just makes getting free treasure hunter keys much harder now. Now when you get a 5 times reward in treasure hunter, instead of giving you 5 times the oddments for cashing it in, you will get the same amount as if the reward was just 1 times. So it's pretty disappointing that they did that change. It doesn't even make sense from a logical point of view. The change was obviously only made to incentivize players to buy more keys. And looking at the price of bonds in RuneScape 3 right now, it just appears that less and less players are buying bonds with real money. And that's probably why Jagex is moving towards taking away these free keys. They want to make a more incentive for people to spend their real money on bonds, on treasure hunter keys, just on MTX in general. Bonds right now, they have reached a new all-time high of 100 million. This is honestly kind of sad because now if you're not an endgame PVMer, it's going to take you a really long time. It'll be a difficult grind to make enough money to buy that bond. I remember years ago when I made some free-to-play to bond videos and it was still maybe a 15-hour grind to make the 25 to 40 mil that I needed for a bond. And it wasn't too bad, but now that bonds are up to 100 mil, I would say it would take a free-to-play player probably 40 to 50 hours to make that much cash. And then as a newer member, it's also quite difficult to make 100 mil every two weeks just to maintain membership. Back before I did content creation, that's what I did. I actually bought bonds to maintain my membership, and 
It was fairly doable back then, but these days I just don't think it is. Overall, it's just quite disappointing that Jagex is headed in this direction even further. It's feeling like they are just trying to find more and more ways to get players to buy into MTX, especially ever since Hero Pass. I really wonder what RuneScape 3 would look like if the devs didn't have to spend all this time working on MTX, Treasure Hunter promos, uh, Yak Track, Hero Pass, MTX, just all of these different things. And instead, if they put their time towards actually working on and making RuneScape 3 great, if they prioritized, you know, actually making an update roadmap for the year instead of a Treasure Hunter calendar, I think it would bring a lot of players back to the game. The player count also isn't really looking that great right now. We're kind of near an all-time low. In fact, according to the misplaced items chart, we haven't been around an average of 20,000 players on RuneScape 3 since 2019. So it has been quite a while. Uh, Archaeology really boosted up the player base and we've been at an elevated level ever since. But you can see it's just been trending downward and Hero Pass really did hurt the cause for RuneScape 3 and just all these MTX things, you know, you can see that players are leaving RuneScape 3. We've even seen different RuneScape 3 content creators that have played the game for a really long time move to old school and try that out and start making content there. And I just really think that MTX is the reason why. It's really disappointing because RuneScape 3 is such an awesome game. It has such an awesome community. And I really think that if updates and just developing the game was really prioritized like it should be or maybe even like it is in old school RuneScape, I think that would greatly benefit the game and it could even bring some players back, which would be great. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on the entire MTX push and this recent Treasure Hunter promo offering the Necromancy overrides. I personally agree that they look so much better than the tier 95 set, and I think that's just unfair because, you know, people are grinding through hundreds or even thousands of kills for Raziel, especially on Iron Man accounts, to get the best in slot Necromancy armor. But now there's just all these different overrides that just look so much better. And I will say one thing, you know, it is great to see uh, this armor introduced in the game. It does look great. It's just the way that they are offering it, forcing players to buy into Treasure Hunter to obtain it, especially for the four days. It just isn't a great look. And I really wish, you know, there was a better way of them introducing these really cool overrides into the game. I am really curious to see what you guys think of these new overrides being available on Treasure Hunter and only for a limited time, and also just the entire MTX push that Jagex has been prioritizing. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.